Okay, hey everyone, hope it's a good day all around. Today I wanted to do something a little different. Uh, what I've done is I've taken a little black acrylic paint, I made a little tree out of it, and then I've taken linseed white, put a thin even layer all over the canvas there, and then what I've also done is I've taken another layer of black acrylic paint because I allowed the other part to dry completely. And now this is still completely wet, eh? so I'm just going to go right into a little scarlet here. And then, I'm just going to, we want this to lighten up as it gets to the center here, so, go into a little more scarlet. This is a really nice color, I've never used this before. I wonder why. Now mainly what I'm going for is I'm going for just a little curve there. So all I'm trying to do is just get a little just get a little curve in the middle there. And we want this to get lighter as it gets to the center there. Or as it gets to the tree, more like it. And maybe once it gets to our desired lightness right there, without even cleaning the brush, I'll just go straight into some vermilion. And then right there it looks like I'll start hitting it with the vermilion. Alright, vermilion looks good there. Alright, um. Uh, we can go into some more vermilion. Alright, that looks good. Now, maybe I'll just wash the brush. All I'm using is just one brush, three-fourths of an inch. Okay. Maybe I'll go into some phthalo blue. Today's looking like phthalo blue kind of day. And then, again, just going for that same curve, that same curve effect, and it's going to just blend in with that black, and it's also going to fuse with the linseed white that we've got going on there. Maybe some more phthalo blue. Okay, that looks good. Alright, so it's almost dispersing into the halo blue there, and that's kind of what we want. Now maybe we'll take a little bit more scarlet, just, to, just so it kind of goes in with the tree. Alright, like that. blends in. I'm not worried about that black hit in that yet. Okay, now I'm worried about it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean the brush off. I'm using odorless mineral spirits. Alright. Make sure it's completely dry. Just keep hitting that with some scarlet. You know what, that black there actually 
that actually looks really good with that. I'm surprised. Now maybe, maybe there's just a little bit of yellow right in the middle there. Not too much, a little bit. Cleaning out the brush once again, and going into some lemon yellow. Transparent color. Maybe that will blend with the black acrylic that's on the canvas. And it'll create just a nice little glowing effect. I'll mix that with some vermilion and we'll get orange. Just bring the middle there. when your tree does that it might be pointing out a sign to you I'm just gonna get some more phthalo blue right along the edge there Again, going for that nice curve. Alright, that looks good. Maybe we mix some phthalo blue with crimson. I like that. And it just creates this color right there. And that fuses with the black. I don't know. Maybe for the middle there, we'll go grab some titanium white. Now that we've got our titanium white, we will take just a regular brush that we washed already. This is the only brush I'm using for this painting. get some titanium white on the brush there. Titanium white is opaque. You can't see through it. That's why I'm using it. Because it'll just take away that black that I've got there. And then once this dries, we can go over it again with some black and it'll give us our desired effect. now, I feel like this tree is just going to be white. And now, just taking the bush brush, getting some titanium white on that. Tree looks like a ghost. That looks cool, actually. Well, what am I doing with the paint thinner? Okay, I'll get some more titanium white on this brush here. I love how it's giving off the astral effect and how particles are just flying off of it. That was completely on accident. Sometimes accidents are good. This has been proved. It's scientifically proven. And now all we're doing is just 
patting that brush onto there. That looks surprisingly better than I thought. That's basically all there is for for this painting. Not much to it. Wash off the bush brush. If you want to add some more details, you can. Like maybe, maybe since we're using black paint for this, you can take that same three fourths of an inch brush. Just use some regular black oil paint, and then maybe we can have particles falling off of it, just going off into that red there. Just, just a thought. Maybe there's one right there. That's just flying off of the tree. Maybe there's just a long one right here. Maybe just a line right there. Can't let that side have all the glory, so let's just put a big one right there. And one that's just flying off of the canvas right there. Maybe I'll mix that with some scarlet, phthalo blue. More towards the phthalo blue side. And then maybe we'll have pieces just every now and then right there. Every now and then. Nothing big. a little empty on the bottom there. That's just all there is to it. Maybe let's say you wanted to add some more titanium white right to that. It can be easily done. Just by padding over and over and over and over and over again. Maybe you want some pieces of the tree just floating off like that. That looks cool. I like the way that came out. All right. That's our finished product. Thank you guys so much for watching. Safe journeys and great paintings.